hi guys welcome back to my channel so here i'm going to be showing you how i made that off shoulder cowl dress so from here to here i've marked out eight inches for forming the cowl on the neck of the dress so here are the measurement lines i'll be using and i'll be explaining to you what the measurement lines are so here to here a reminder is eight inches so from here at the neckline i'm going to be removing four inches as if i'm marking an off shoulder dress you can remove as much as you want depending on how low you want the neck to be so here is the hip line and here is my knee line two inches above the knee line you can go ahead and mark the full length of your gown so on this line you're not going to be marking anything yet rather you're going to be marking above this line so on the line above it here you're going to be marking two times the one quarter of your shoulder circumference and after that you're going to be connecting this line to the center front then from here downwards is the sleeve length you can mark 11 inches from there or 10 inches from now as you can see I've carved out the neckline for my dress and I've also marked 3 inches below the hip line and from there I'm going to start imputing the hip measurement plus 2 inches then I'm also going to add 1 inch seam allowance and now that I'm done with the hip part of it I'm going to go over to the shoulder and show you how to continue with the measurement so okay I've already marked some measurements here from the first line here I've marked down three inches from here down and I slanted the sleeve part of it and I marked five inches for the round sleeve and here at the hip level I'm going to be marking from these three inches down below the hip one inch lesser than the hip measurement and i'm going to be curving as so towards the sleeve part of it so i'm going to be showing you how i did the curve then from the neckline you're going to be cutting out your neckline as well as cutting out the other part of your gown and when you're done cutting your gown it should look something like this so we're going over to the marking of the neck part of it this is like the cape part of it so watch how I'm folding my fabric I made the first fold and here I'm going to be marking out the measurement for the neck cape I measured four and a half inches here and then after folding the first one I'm going to further fold it into two like so this is because I don't want to have stitches above the cape line of it and now that I'm done folding it, as you can see, I'm going to be marking out the cape measurement and I'm going to be marking the one quarter circumference of my shoulder measurement. This is the off shoulder measurement. So I'm go going to add one inch seam allowance to it and below it, which is at the four and a half inch part of it. I'm going to be adding half inch to the off shoulder measurement I made at the top part of it. So I'm going to be adding half inch to the measurement above. So I'm going to mark this measurement and then cut out this cape. And I'm going to cut in two, one for the front and one for the back. So now we're going to move back to the sewing part of it. As you can see, I've already cut the front and back exactly the same way. So the first thing we need to do is to stitch up the sleeve part of it. And then we're going to go over to the sides and stitch downwards. You may want to leave like 10 inches before the hemline for ease of movement. So now that we are done sewing up the sides and the sleeve part of it, we're going to start from the center front and center back for the pleating and you're going to pleat towards the center front and the center back so you do the same for both the front and the back bodies so here we're done with the pleating as you can see the color is already formed on its own we're going to go over to sewing up the cape part of it so this is the right side of the fabric facing me 
and I'm putting right side and right side together. So what I'm going to do here is to sew up the side with the seam allowance I measured out while cutting out this cape. So now that I'm done stitching it together, I'm going to open it like so. From the middle part of it, I'm going to fold it into two. I'm going to stitch up the tip of it and then attach it to my gown and my gown is ready thank you guys for watching i hope i see you guys in my next video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel bye